I'm Cindy Brown and everybody keto. Hi guys, everybody there. Hello, hello. Happy Friday, TGIF and all those great things. Let me fix this just a little bit. Oh, what a doggone long, short week. Don't you guys think? Guys, I am Cindy, everybody keto. Thanks so much for hopping in. If there was ever a day that I needed my exogenous ketones from Prove It right now is the time. I plan on coming live and sort of showing you one of my dinner techniques tonight. And I gotta tell you, all I wanna do is just really sit around and chill, but I am here anyways. Uh, hopefully you guys are here too. Say hi if you are on live. Type one if you are uh, on this live and type two if you're on the replay. Again, Cindy Brown, every keto. Today, guys, we're going to be making avocado chips. And while they are baking, I'm going to show you how I make my dairy-free ranch dressing. Oh, anybody who wants any information about exogenous ketones, please let me know. They have changed my life. Heart tart, quite honestly. My favorite flavor of all time. I tend to blow through that one and then while I'm waiting for my next shipment, I'm using whatever else I have in my pantry. But heart tarts the deal. See, we got some people on chat. Hi, guys. Uh, again, say hello. Let me know that you're here. One, if you are watching it live, and two, if you're watching on the replay, um, we are going to tonight make avocado chips. Uh, I'm going to be steaming some salmon very shortly, and the avocado chips are going to go with that, and we're probably going to have a vegetable. Uh, just for a little bit about me while we're waiting for people to get on. Um, Cindy Brown, I have been doing keto religiously, religiously since May, sort of playing around with low carb for a while. I gave up like breads and pastas about two years ago, but what I was doing was supplementing my life with sugar. Um, I am the iced vanilla latte grande with a bunch of doggone sugar in it. That's our oven saying it's ready. Uh, and guys, there were times I would do two of those a day, so I would sort of justify my behavior by like, Oh, I don't eat bread and pasta, but I suck down sugar in liquid form every day. So May, I decided to go keto full bore. And I will tell you that it has changed my life and I will never, ever, ever eat another carb. Um, I just don't need them. I don't miss them. Uh, life is so much better. In fact, I am so uh, committed to the keto lifestyle, I guess, that guys, I actually went and got my keto coach certification because I want to share this story with everybody. And I also want to share it right. Um, as you guys know, there's a bunch of information on the internet, on YouTube, on Facebook groups. You know, some people say you can do something. Some people say you can't do something. So I really thought that if I'm going to be sharing this message, and trust me, I share this message all of the time. Um, everything from where exogenous ketones fit into my lifestyle, how I think they benefit my lifestyle, to um, helping people do macros, I just wanted to do it officially. So. Hey Jess, hello, hello. Uh, so yeah, so guys, I went full bore, man. I became a certified keto coach. I'm starting some private groups and the quest for information out there for the ketogenic lifestyle is, is just going crazy. And uh, any questions you guys have about keto, let me know. If I don't know the answer, I will definitely find it out for you. Um, so guys, today, today, tonight, probably for some of you it's tonight, but for me it's today still. Um, we are going to make avocado chips and what they are basically is baked avocado and I never truly appreciated baked avocado until I started on keto and I can't get enough of it. In fact, we made a meat spaghetti sauce last night and actually folded avocado into it and it was phenomenal. So one other little caveat about me is uh, I'm also dairy free keto. Uh, one of the things that some people find when they start to do the ketogenic diet is that they'll hit a stall or they won't sort of lose weight the way they, they want to and there's a lot of different factors that could be involved. For me, it was dairy. I've been having dairy my entire life and didn't realize the effects that it had on my inflammation of my system. So about a month ago, I went completely dairy free and sometimes it's hard, but we are coming up with a lot of workarounds like while the avocado chips are in the oven, I'm going to show you how I make my dairy free ranch dressing that I have shared with, I don't know, 25 people who sort of cock their head at me sort of strange. Um, and they, they don't know the difference. They're like, this is, are you sure? So I'm going to show you that at the end of the episode, I'm going to put both recipes down below so you can see them. All right, guys, um, let's get started. Our avocado chips, if you saw my Facebook post that said this was coming out, um, 
they look really good in the Pinterest recipe that I found. So hopefully we can uh, replicate that, right? Because I think I must, may have said this on one of my previous videos, I think maybe my pancake video, but for us, so much of what we eat has to do with what it smells like, what it looks like before we even taste it. You know, there are people who won't eat things like kimchi or Brussels sprouts because they don't like the way they smell, they don't like the, the way they look. So for me, stuff has to look edible in order for me and my family to want to eat it. So again, let me put aside my heart, heart packet. Take another really big sip and then we're gonna get started. And what I'm gonna do, I'm not, I'm using a new software for this video, so I'm gonna pull the camera down a little bit and hopefully you guys can see the whole screen and me preparing stuff at the same time. If you can't throw it on chat, Again, guys, share this episode so more people can watch it and learn how to make phenomenal avocado chips. Uh, if you are watching this live, please hit one. If you're watching on the replay, please hit two. Um, gosh, I have a little bit of a delay, so I'm going to see. You guys can't really see my head, huh? There, can you see it now? So, guys, we have seven ingredients that we have on these avocado chips, and they are avocado, garlic powder, minced garlic, lemon juice, Parmesan cheese, Italian seasonings, and salt and pepper. Okay, so the first thing we do, and basically we just mash the avocado. Hang on, I didn't get a fork. We're going to mash the avocado, and then we're going to mix everything together with it. Have you guys heard of avocado hand? Apparently people are using crazy sharp knives and cutting avocados in their hands, and they're like cutting themselves right here. I got this avocado cutter from Pampered Chef probably six years ago, and I use it all the time. And uh, I've never had avocado hands, so if you guys have, I'm sorry, that really sucks. But you can see it really scores it like, perfectly. And then with avocados, you just want to kind of twist them, and then they'll open right up. So I'm going to scoop my first one out. Just going to pull this back a little bit so you can see it. And you want to try and use a really ripe avocado for this guy. All right. So I move back just a little bit if that helps you guys see it. Again, guys, if you're on live, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Just hit one if you're on live, two if you're on the replay. Um, I'd like to know a little bit about where you guys are in your keto journey. Just want to know like kind of who's watching so I can sort of customize maybe some of my lives. So if you are doing keto now, just give me like a big hand wave. And if you are new to keto and you're just trying to like kind of learn information and get some details, do me a favor and just do like a pink heart. I need a towel. All right, so we've got our avocado in here. What we're doing now is just mashing it. I think I mentioned we want to try and get a ripe avocado so it, you're not sitting here all day trying to smoosh it down. So the recipe I'm doing is going to give us 12 chips, so I'm only using one avocado because it's just me and my husband. But if you have a big family, you can double it, triple it. So there's our mashed avocado. Next thing we're going to do is three quarters of a cup of grated Parmesan, which I have already grated. Guys, you may say Parmesan and dairy-free. What, what's that girl talking about? Uh, Parmesan Reggiano is made in only like three regions of Italy, and their cows are fed a very specific diet. So this, um, a lot of our, our modern dairy problems come from the kind of food that we in the United States feed our cows. You know, cows are sort of grass-fed animals, and we are feeding them corn and soy. So Parmesan, luckily for me, um, it's good to go for dairy-free. So I use Parmesan all the time. All right, so we've added our parm cheese. Next comes in one teaspoon of lemon juice. That kind of sloshed all over. There we go. There's my garlic. You guys ever have a problem getting the lid off the garlic? There it goes. 
All right, so one teaspoon of garlic. We're gonna do a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. And guys, I don't know if you guys have tried Flavor God Seasonings. They are the best, for sure. So we're doing a half a teaspoon. This is Garlic Lovers. A lot of garlic, huh? Minced garlic and garlic lovers. All right, guys, let's go to chat. See everybody. Hello, everybody, again. If you are watching this live, please hit one. On the replay, please hit two. If you are already doing the ketogenic diet and you're loving it like I am, give me a hand wave. And if you are brand new to keto and you're just trying to figure out how this journey works out, give me a big heart. All right, so the garlic. Now we're going to do a half teaspoon of Italian seasonings. All right, and then a quarter teaspoon of salt and a dash of pepper. I use Himalayan sea salt with all of my recipes and on the table. So there's that, and then we're just gonna do a dash of pepper. All right, so that's all of our ingredients. Let me clear them out of the way real quick. So anybody have great weekend plans? I don't know about you guys, but we were pretty busy on Labor Day, so uh, my husband and I are, are planning kind of on just chilling. Um, my husband, in addition to me, has a big social media following. He has a couple thriving YouTube channels. So we do an awful lot of videoing here in the Brown House, like all the time. So all right, we're just gonna mix everything together, make it nice and blended. All right, hello on the chat. Yes, I am limited dairy keto. Awesome. Uh, you know, it's funny. I never realized in my whole life that dairy was a problem for me. Um, but I was on like a one-month stall. And you guys, if we're doing keto, you know that starts making you crazy, right? The scale doesn't move. Um, the inches were getting kind of slow. And so I started doing some research, checked with my fellow keto coaches. And the overwhelming, resounding thing was dairy can be a big problem. So sure enough, I stopped dairy on a Friday, and by Sunday morning, I had lost two pounds. That entire week, I lost four and a half pounds. So I don't know why it sucks, because I love dairy. I was really loving my Starbucks with heavy cream, but sometimes you just got to do what's best for your body, right? All right, so guys, I'm grabbing my cookie sheet. My oven is already preheated. I don't know if you guys use these silicone mats for things like these, but they are phenomenal. Nothing sticks. So we have our avocado mix, we have a cookie scooper, and let's see if I can get 12 of these little buggers out of here. Hope you guys can see this. I don't know if we're going to get 12, it doesn't look like a lot in here. I'll make them small. Alright guys, good to have everybody here. So again, if you are on the live please press one if you're on the replay please press two yeah you guys maybe i had a small avocado because i'm barely gonna get six out of this deal so again that's why we try these pinterest recipes right because julia child didn't write them so there could be some um miscommunication as far as the sizes or the uh, amounts of the recipe and then i'm gonna just take my little scoop i think i'm gonna try and sort of flatten these little babies out. Kind of make them round if possible. Round if possible. Yeah, guys, we only got six. That's kind of sad. There are my six avocado chips. I'm going to try and flatten them out a little bit more so they're a little thinner. Again, the recipe said to use the back of the cookie scoop. I almost think I should have just used a spoon. Hope that works. All right, guys, so we're going to put these in the oven for 15 minutes, then we're going to flip them and put them in for another five. So while I put them in the oven, I'm going to show you guys how I make my dairy-free keto ranch dressing. Okay, set my timer for 15 minutes. All right, so let me clear all this out of the way and grab my next batch of ingredients. 
All right, so for our dairy-free ranch dressing, we're going to be using unsweetened coconut milk, a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, mayonnaise, garlic, parsley, green onions, white vinegar, and pepper. And what we're going to do to sort of recreate buttermilk is we're going to take the coconut milk and add the apple cider vinegar to it and let it sit for a few minutes to almost quote unquote curdle, but it's just the interaction of the apple cider vinegar with the coconut milk. So we're going to do that first. All right, so we're looking at a third of a cup of coconut milk. I'm going to show you guys. I hope you can see this. I'll flip it up down. I got these measuring cups because I love them. They're different colors, so I would know a half a cup is red, whatever is blue. Look at guys. When I set this down, well, I'm going to let go of it. It's going to fall. You're going to see this. It does not sit on its base. It's like the base is too narrow, and it doesn't sit on the base until once it has stuff in it, it'll stay. But you know how many times I've spilled stuff? I'm a little disappointed with these measuring cups. They are not what I hoped they would be. So a third of a cup of unsweetened coconut milk. And then we're going to do a teaspoon of the apple cider vinegar and just set that aside while we're mixing the other ingredients. course in all of my drama, my drama llama about the measuring cups, I put it in the wrong container. There we go. All right. And then we're looking at a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. Hang on. I don't think we need avocado in there, do we? All right, so we've got our teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, rags with the mother, along with our coconut milk. Just looks like that. We're going to set that aside. So guys, how is everybody doing? How is your weekend? How's your Friday night slash afternoon? Hopefully it's as good as mine because I get to hang out with you guys. Um, type 1 if you're watching this live. Type 2 if you're watching on the replay. Uh, glad to have you here. Love everybody hanging on and making comments. Comment with the group, guys. While I'm talking, go ahead and sort of chat with your fellow watchers. Is that what we call them? This keto community, guys, we need to pool our resources, share our information. Because um, there's a lot of crazy information on there as far as what keto is. And, you know, there's no... There's no, there is a book called the Keto Bible, but there's really no Keto Bible that says this is the exact plan you need to follow. You know, again, if you would have told me starting keto that I wouldn't have been able to do dairy, I would have sort of shook my head. Um, so share information. If you guys have a great tip or a great uh, keto hack, you know, that's kind of one of the things I try to do here as well is keep our eating plan as close to normal as I can. So I do keto hacks all the time and I'm hoping to share some of them with you. So right now, guys, we're making dairy-free ranch dressing. Uh, we've got the apple cider vinegar and the coconut milk uh, culturing, fermenting. So now we're going to do a cup of mayonnaise. I feel woefully unprepared right now, guys. Sorry. All right, so again, we're just scooping a cup of mayonnaise. And you guys can see, once I get some volume in there, that little cup actually sort of stands up, but it's still not perfect. All right, checking out chat over there. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Happy Friday. We have our avocado chips in the oven. We have about 10 more minutes until we flip them. Uh, the recipe did not yield what it said it would, so that's something to know. If uh, the recipe I put down below, no, it's going to be for about six chips, and I'll try and put that on there so you have it. All right, so we have a cup of mayonnaise. I love mayonnaise, guys. I'm so glad mayonnaise is on keto. Two cloves of garlic, and guys, I'm very liberal with my garlic. 
I usually just take a little fork and throw in what I think is a couple of tablespoons. So there's our garlic added. Okay, now what, what, what I like to do, because this is my ranch dressing and, and I can do what I want with it. I like to use fresh green onions and fresh parsley. It just adds a little bit of um, a little bit of moisture, a little bit of crunch, and that makes sense to the ranch dressing. If you ever have, like a really nice ranch dressing that's got like all those green flecks in it, you can use, you totally can use dried parsley. I don't know if there's a dried chives, maybe there are, but I kind of like to, to just cut them up and do them naturally. And it's just uh, not a lot, guys. It's like three tablespoons of green onions and it's uh, two tablespoons of parsley. So I just Grab my green onions. I don't know about you guys, but I always cut the tops off of them. And I'm just going to cut them. I hope you guys can see this. If someone can let me know if you guys can actually see the onions being cut, because I could bring it down a little bit more, I think. I bet you can't. There, hopefully you guys can see them. But I guess, I don't know, do you really need to see me cut green onions? So guys, there we go. Now you can see it. See, for some reason, mine is on a little bit of a delay. I'm using a new software for the Facebook Lives, and there's like a three or five second delay, which is a little awkward on my end. I guess if I don't know, I drop something, maybe I can fix it. And you won't see it. So uh, I love to cook. Do you guys like to cook? It, it, um, I, I know that's one thing I get a lot with people who want to know about keto, is they're like, well, I'm not much of a cook, and so it's like, well. It, you can definitely keto with like ready-made products, but I just love when I have the time. It's very relaxing for me to just spend some time cooking. Um, all right, so there's our green onions. I'm just going to throw a little bit of a handful in. I think I probably cut too many, but you know that's what happens. I'll throw them on our salmon tonight because that's what we're having with these avocado chips and the ranch dressing is uh, some salmon tonight. So now I just have regular good old parsley. And that just needs a little bit also. So we're just going to cut that up fine. Sorry, I'm sort of focusing because I can kind of be dangerous when it comes to knives. And this little baby is a really sharp one. So, uh, yeah. Yes. Um, my husband, I actually, when we have a, we have a deal in our house. Um, I do the cooking. My husband does the dishes. But we've already had to go to the ER once for stitches for this knife. So I just clean all the knives myself before uh, dinner's over. So then we don't have to worry about it. Again, so now I'm just going to throw a handful of parsley. So that's what we're looking at so far. Let me clear all this out of the way. Guys, how are we doing? Are you hanging in there with me? Is this getting boring? I hope not because cooking, I love cooking. It never gets boring for me. Uh, so we have done the parsley, the green onions, the garlic, the mayonnaise. I think that our cultured, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it actually is thickening up a little bit. Um, I'm going to throw you back up where you can see me now. Hopefully I'm not making you seasick. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to throw this cultured coconut milk in there. I'm going to grab a fork and stir that up. And guys, like any other ranch dressing, if you do anything with like, what do you call it, Hidden Valley ranch dressing, all that kind of stuff back in the day, you still want to put it in the fridge and let it sort of thicken up. Um, the last thing we need to do is a teaspoon of white wine vinegar. There it is. All right, so our last ingredient is just a teaspoon of the white wine vinegar. And now we're set with our ranch dressing. Again, we're just going to kind of stir everything up and blend it together. And that's all you guys got to do. The, the hardest part really is cutting up the, uh, the veggies. So I hope everybody's good, on the, everybody on the chat. Real quick, if you just came on to the live, do me a favor and hit a one if you're live so I know. If you're watching us on the replay, please hit two. Uh, let me know any kind of questions you want to know about these recipes, about dairy-free keto. I almost forgot about my exogenous ketones for Improve It. Oh, that's good stuff, you guys. I'm telling you. Um, so and you can see that we it yields a pretty decent, I'd say almost like two cups of the ranch dressing 
there's what we look like. Okay, so that's our ranch dressing. I didn't put salt and pepper, and I like to do salt and pepper sort of to, to taste. And uh, I don't know about you guys, but I usually put my fingers and taste everything because I'm the one eating it. But uh, if you feel better taking a spoon or a fork, you can. Maybe maybe because we're on Facebook Live, I will go ahead and use a fork since that's a little more culturally appropriate. Guys, I'm telling you, it tastes just like ranch dressing. And for me, um, A, I know all the ingredients, right? So my macros, I, I can dial right down. It's not like, is, are there hidden sugars? Are there hidden you know, starches or carbs? I'm not aware of what they call sneaky carbs. I think that we are good to go with this. So what I'm going to do is just show it to you guys one more time without spilling it. So that's our ranch dressing is a little bit thin right now. But once you get it in the fridge and sort of set up, it will definitely thicken up. So we're going to throw that in the fridge. Looks like we have, oh, wow, I can already smell those avocado chips. Looks like we have just about three more minutes until we flip those avocado chips, and I will actually take them out of the oven and show them to you so you can see how they're looking. Um, but, guys, what's going on in the chat? Let me know what you'd like to know about keto, where you are in your journey, what recipes you'd like me to see. I know last week when we did normal, sorry, my cat's meowing. She probably wants her food. Um, pets, do you guys have pets? Do you know there's a keto diet for pets? Uh, I actually just got some information on it and uh, I'm reading up on it, so I may share that with you on a Facebook Live. But uh, back to what I was talking about, which I've already forgotten. Um, keto. You know, what do you guys want to know? Uh, what recipes would you like to, to see? Last week we did our first uh, Facebook Live here on Every Keto. We did keto dairy free pancakes and we got asked to do pumpkin pancakes. So tomorrow morning, probably around 9 o'clock Pacific time, I'm going to come back right on here. And I'm going to show you guys how to make pumpkin uh, keto pancakes. The other thing that I'm going to do with that is, like I said, I can't have heavy whipping cream because um, it's dairy. So I like whipped cream on my pancakes. So you can actually use coconut milk. In fact, again, we've got a couple minutes before the avocado chips come out. So I have had my coconut milk sitting in the, in the refrigerator for a couple days. And what happens when you put coconut milk in the fridge? It's the solids all rise to the top and the water sits on the bottom. So what I'm going to do tomorrow morning for you guys is I'm going to just scoop out all this solid and put it in my stand mixer because it takes like sometimes 15 or 20 minutes to get it to uh, peak like you would normally with normal whipping cream. The stand mixer is going to do all the hard work for me. So I'm going to uh, make coconut whipped cream to put on top of our pancake, our pumpkin pancakes tomorrow. Um, all right, guys, so we have just about two more minutes. So again, if you are hanging out with me live, please do me a favor and hit one. If you're on the replay, hit two. If you are doing the ketogenic diet and you're rocking and you're a keto junkie like this girl right here, give me the wavy hand sign. And if you're new to keto, you're just checking out, you kind of want to know what it's all about and, and how it works, give me a heart and uh, I will definitely reach out to you at the end of this broadcast and uh, see what you need to know and help you out wherever I can. Uh, again, I will put the recipes down below um, after this episode is over so you guys can make this yourself. And uh, I think we're close enough on the timer. I'm going to take out the avocado chips, set them down here and flip them so you can see what they look like. And we'll see together how well we did here at Everybody Keto on our first try of avocado chips. Okay, they got really big and really flat. I don't know what that means. Oh, I guess if you're going to crash and burn, you might as well crash and burn on Facebook Live, right? Put some hot pads down right here. All right, well, A, they all blended together. Uh, let's see if they're flippable at the very least, right? All right, guys, can you see that? Um, yeah. Uh-oh. Okay, well, they didn't get crunchy. Anybody ever made avocado chips? Anybody want to throw this girl a lifeline? Uh, I'm, I'm kind of at a loss because it seems pretty legit. Avocado. Um, 
cheese. All right, guys, I'm going to put them back in the oven for a few more minutes. I will let you know later tonight how they come out. That was a little disappointing. They sure do not look like the picture that I put on my Facebook page now, do they? Um, let me just review the, ingredient, the recipe. All right, so avocado check, Parmesan check, lemon juice check, garlic, garlic, Italian spices, salt and pepper. We did all that, guys. We mashed the avocado, we mixed everything. We cooked until solid enough to flip over and then cooked another five to seven minutes. Well, hey guys, at least you saw a really cool ranch dressing recipe, right? Um, so guys, <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit embarrassed right now, but that's, I guess, the joys, but the highs and the lows of Facebook Live. Hey guys, if you are new here at Everybody Keto, I ask you to do me just one favor. Please just, just pound that subscribe button down below and also make sure that you hit the little ringy dingy bell because that will let you know every time we put out new content. And also, since you're new, I'm going to throw a couple videos up here that let you know what we're about Help you get started. And guys, until next time, this is Cindy at Everybody Keto and Keto on.